Welcome to this short tutorial about data analysis tool in Excel. I will guide you to install these tools in your Excel if it is not there. And then I will explore the three functions of that uh, tools, um, correlation, regression, and descriptive statistics. Let's start. So look where is this uh, data analysis tools, go to data and you will look here, you will find data analysis tools. See, this is the data analysis tool. In case if you don't find it, you need to go to file. You go down to option and at option go to add end. And Excel add ins go and you check analysis tool path. And okay, since I install it, I don't need to install it again. In this uh, tools, you will see there is some um, statistical tools for analysis data like ANOVA, uh, FTEF, uh, TTEF. Zeta and also has a regression and has uh, a correlation and descriptive statistics. Okay, now the first tool we will use is the correlation. I have a set of data. Uh, taking from uh, fathers and sons their height and then I want to know if there is a correlation between the height of the son and the height of the father. This is the formula in the statistic uh, we will use to um, uh, to calculate R. but we can do it by using uh, uh, the equation which is equals to correlation C O. You see correlation, this one. This is Parson correlation, and he is asking me what is the first one. This is the first set of data, and I want to correlate it uh, with this uh, data. Enter, he gave me 0 0.9. It is very good uh, correlation, actually. Uh, this one, if you memorize uh, the, the command. Or you can go to formulas and then you go to statistics and then you look here and uh, where is uh, the, the formula. But also you need to know uh, something about these commands. Okay, you try it one by one. Now, if I use my data analysis tools, uh, I will go to correlation. Okay. And then I will select my data. I will select it including my uh, labels. And then I put labels. And where I will put my data? Okay, uh, here. Okay, I will put my data here. Example, I will select here, data. And okay, now I get my data. You can see here the correlation between the father uh, height of the father and the height of the son is 0 0.90 similar to this one see it is uh, faster to calculate uh, by using this table than you go to uh, memorize many co commands now let's go to regression i have a data here a university faculty wants to see how strong the relationship is between a student score and a test uh, with the hair or uh, his uh, uh, GPA average, uh, if there is uh, the correlation and how can you represent it in a linear uh, function, which is the equation of line. Okay, we need here to find the slope and the intercept. To find the slope, this is the ordinary way. Huh? equals to slope okay the slope and then he's asked me where is the y i am saying this is the y 
be sure you select the proper one, not opposite. And where is the X? This is the X. And then enter, he will tell me the slope is 0.8. Uh, at six, and what about the intercept? Equal the intercept. Okay, this is the intercept. Where is the y? This is the y. Come up. Where is the x? This is x. Enter. This is the intercept. How much the correlation between these two? I I then it said it will be correlation. Okay. And then uh, you can select anyone, doesn't matter which one comes first because it's a correlation between two uh, data or data. Okay, point six is very good one. This one, if you use this method one by one, okay, I'm not yet using my data analysis data. If you draw this one against this one that I did it here, you will get this. Uh, a graph. You can add the equation here by point to any of this point. Right click, add trend line. You can see here I am selecting line linear, and then I want the display the equation. Okay, he display for me this equation. I can make it a few bigger that we can see it. Okay, you can see the output is similar to this output here. Now, what about uh, my uh, function, which is the, the data analysis? Um, I will do. By clicking here, you go to regression. This is the regression. Okay, he's asking me where is y. I'm telling him. This is why I include the label. And then where is X? I include the label also. And then I'm telling him, and this column is the first two is the label. Where do you want to get your output? I want my output, it will be here. Uh, what else? Uh, I think I don't want another thing. And then I will just click OK. He make for me an output of calculation. Okay, he can cal calculate for me R, which is this one. You can see this R here, similar to this R here. He get R square. You can get R square here actually also. You can get it. Um, he calculate for me the intercept. Same ten point something. He found for me the slope. 0.8, which is the slope here, 0.8. You can see, he calculate for me other things, like example, ANOVA, the F test, and the T test. Uh, he make other things uh, uh, useful for the discussion when he use uh, this tool, okay? If you are using this tool, it's easier than you go step by step, and, you make, and then some, maybe you will make some mistakes. He just did it with one click. Finally, we will go to the descriptive uh, statistics. Like what? Like example, average or mean. If I want to find the average of this data, this is the data about uh, a student, he study a certain, uh, when he study a certain test or something, uh, this is the time, uh, how, how many hours he spent to get Score okay. Let's make this one a test. Okay, the score of this test. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. The first thing is uh, I have here twenty students. They study different hours. Some um, uh, study very hard, nine hours. Some they study only two hours, and then take a certain test. And this is their grade from 100. I want to get the average hours they study. I can go here and then the average, or I can give the command. Self. I want to find how much the average of this one. The average is five hours. 
uh, how much as average grade they get, the student copy paste, it's around 84. Uh, how many students I can use count? I can use the command directly or I can get it from here, count number. Okay, count how many here? I have here 20 students. Okay, and then copy 20. What is the maximum? I can use here also the maximum here. What is the maximum here? You will tell me it is nine. And the other one, what is the maximum? Copy paste. You can get the maximum is nine. Right. What is the minimum? Okay. You also, you can use this one. What's to the minimum? Minimum of these numbers, which is the two. And the minimum here, and other things you can like I can send the deviation, whatever, everything. Now I can use my uh, data analysis tool uh, to calculate all these things with one click. I will go here, look where is the descriptive uh, statistic. Okay, and then he's asking me where is the input. I'm telling him this is the input, including the label. That's why the first one is a label. Where do you want output? I want my output will be here, or maybe here. Okay, my output. Um, what do you want me to do for you? I want a summary of the statistics. And then this is also useful. Um, as you know here, the maximum is nine. What is that? Uh, I can, if be, before this nine, what number I have? I can uh, get this one. Let's see. Uh, one step before, which is uh, what number is not the, the maximum, the one before the maximum. And then what is the next to the minimum? Okay, next to the minimum. And okay, now he give me this uh, data. Okay, you can see this data I get. Uh, for the hours, I get the average or the mean is 5.5 is the same. Uh, median, he calculate for me, and he calculate for me the mod. The mod is, uh, you can see number eight is repeated many times, that's the maximum frequency has. And also he calculate for me a standard deviation. He calculate for me um, the maximum and the minimum, it's the minimum and maximum. Uh, some, he calculate for me the total, which has no meaning here. Uh, he calculate what is the number is second to the nine from that's it, okay. And what is the smallest uh, two? Because I have two twos here, okay. This is two two, okay. Still two, okay. Now the only thing I noted, if I have uh, two modes, uh, and uh, this function is very old actually. This uh, tools. I, I think they don't improve uh, this mode here because if you have a two, like example, uh, if I have, uh, I, I test it, uh, if you want to have a two, uh, like for example, we have uh, five, 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 and eight, eight, eight. Uh, this one we have actually two uh, modes, okay? If you are using the old mode command, this one, the old mode uh, with the 2007, uh, he will give you only one. Okay, let's try it. Okay, this is the numbers. He will give you only five. He will not give you eight, but actually there are two. But if you are using the new one equals to mode, okay, multiple, okay, of this one, there are two two, which is this one and this one. If I change this one to eight, it will be only one, okay? And here I notice there is only one, and I don't know if he will give you, like example, um, um, well, uh, you just test it, okay? Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope uh, you learn something and have a nice day. Bye.